by helping uh, by having both groups help each other. A absolutely, and I think we're so busy right now, right? In terms of just keeping up, there's so many guidelines changing. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, and f you know, fortunately and unfortunately that you know, fortunately that we're still operating our business. Unfortunately that you know, it's so unclear what the future holds that. Uh, we just don't have the capacity to arrange these type of uh, programs. And thanks to you, we're able to do this. So, um, you know, what impressed me the most is you're not just settling at where you live locally, but you're doing this statewide. So how many states have you been uh, bringing food to? And how did you get started you know, how did you reach out to people and uh, how are you doing this? How, how are you doing, you know, coordinating so many states all at the same time? Yeah, so uh, basically uh, by the end of this week, uh, I'll have hit my 1500th meal. And so that's at uh, 30 different hospitals across 16 states. And uh, next, I'm in touch with a couple other hospitals. So hopefully next week, it'll add a couple more uh, states to that list. But uh, basically what I've been doing is, looking at uh, all the data, there's so much data out there. So I've just been looking at that initially, like the, for example, the Johns Hopkins uh, Coronavirus Resource Center has a lot of really detailed um, information about uh, different states and everything. So I've been using that to sort of figure out which areas need the most help and where, like where I should target. Yeah. Um, and then I started uh, finding out which hospitals, just reading about the news in those areas, figuring out which hospitals were like the most overburdened and were dealing with the most cases. And so I would reach out to those hospitals and then I would try and find uh, like popular local restaurants in those areas, like uh, such as like Chilantro. Um, and so I sort of just reached out uh, and I've been lucky to find a lot of people like you who are really uh, selfless and like happy to work with me. And so from that, from there, uh, it's basically just been uh, working on the logistics and um, setting up the deliveries. Yeah. Uh, if you were, to have a goal for this program, I, I know that, you know, it started small, right? Just yeah. like my business, I started from a food truck and, and I know that you're a little familiar with my business because I was on Shark Tank, you watched yeah, me on Shark really cool. Tank and, and you're yeah. familiar with me a little bit. Uh, what is your goal for this program? Yeah, so I guess it's kind of hard because like when I first started, I like didn't know it would get this big so from this point I, it's also kind of difficult to pro project um, how far we're going to go but as long as I have the funds and as long as there's a need for this um, I'm going to try and keep going and uh, I really love doing this and it's great to work with people like you um, so I'll be happy to keep on doing this um, as long as I can but at the same time um, obviously I hope uh, this is over soon and I hope uh, like we can get out of this and get um, and this pandemic can just be uh, over with but as long as there's a need yeah. um, I'm going to try and uh, continue yeah well that leads me to personal question I remember when I was 17 years old I didn't have uh, the guts or the vision like you um, <laughs> what's your dream like what's your dream job uh, well so I'm really interested in um, like economics and finance and also uh, like computer science and so there's a lot of opportunities, I guess, sort of at like the intersection of that. And um, entrepreneurship is also something uh, that's really interesting to me as well. So I feel like something um, at the crossroads of all of uh, those different fields. And I just want to do whatever I can to benefit the most, uh, most people and help um, as many communities um, as I can. That's awesome. And, and for personally, what's the biggest lesson that you've learned through this process? Yeah, so I guess um, it's just re been really great to see how uh, the, everyone I've worked with is really not only resilient, but also really selfless and altruistic. And it's uh, honestly been kind of surprising to see like how much, um, like how willing people are to work with me, even though I'm just like a high schooler and they're helping me make a difference um, by uh, being so like supportive and so nice and really helpful. And that's that goes for everyone. That's like, um, our donors, our, uh, the, all the restaurants we've worked with, um, and then uh, a lot of like the uh, administrative staff at the hospitals, and then, of course, um, the healthcare staff as well, who are working on the front lines. 
uh, to keep all of us safe. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, what are your friends or what are your friends saying about your initiative? Your family yeah, member. So, we we talked to your sister. Um, yeah. To get a to get a hold of you because I think you were in a Zoom meeting with your classmates and your yeah. teacher. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because yeah, it's in the middle of AP week right now, so I have actually, <laughs> yeah. l- actually later today I have my uh, microeconomics exam. But uh, but yeah, <laughs> <Good it's, luck. laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but yeah, everyone has been. Um, all my friends and family have been um, like really supportive, uh, sort of helping me get ideas, sharing the fundraising fundraiser because um, that's been uh, really important as well. But a lot of my friends have actually, who are sort of uh, intending to start their own initiatives for different things, oh, awesome. have been yeah they've been reaching out to me as well for just yeah. like advice on like how to get started and how to um, how to expand. So that's been um, a really uh, hardening thing to see i guess um just like the benefits of this i guess are going beyond just like um restaurants and hospitals because um so many people are going to also try and uh make a difference but yeah my so my friends have been really supportive and also um uh, my family a lot especially my sister uh, yeah. has done like uh done a lot as well to um to help me yeah yeah and, and you know behind uh great people uh a lot of times they're great parents behind the scenes right yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, so uh, if you were to describe your parents in just a short couple sentences, you know, how were how are they influencing you to do this? Yeah, I guess um, the biggest thing is that like ever since I've been really little, um, like charity and philanthropy has been like a really big part, like a, something really important that they've like instilled with me. So like, uh, especially in the holidays, like we always do, we always sort of like organize like toy drives or food drives. And we always like bake a lot of cookies and stuff to donate to the um, homeless shelter or like to the uh, hospitals. And so that's something we've always, it's sort of like a tradition and something we've um, always, always done. So I guess that was like one of the biggest motivating factors because they've really um, helped instill instill in me the idea that like, if you have the means and the skills to help other people, you uh, always should. So that's, um, I guess that's been like the biggest influence, but also a lot, um, like I've learned a lot um, through, like through working on this. Um, But so, especially at the beginning, like when I didn't, like really had no idea how to go about this, um, they guided me a lot with that as well. That's awesome, man. It's so good to hear. Uh, Any last words? Share, um, I uh, guess your Instagram feed, share us with your Instagram feed, wh- why we should follow you and uh, any last words for, for us. Yeah, I guess, uh, uh, I guess uh, just anything you, uh, anyone can do to help um, would be like really appreciated. And on our social media, uh, we talk about uh, like the meals that have been delivered. Um, but also another big thing we do is sort of um, honor like, uh, a lot of the frontline staff, not just uh, not just healthcare staff, but although that's a big part, but um, also like a lot of restaurant staff and like de- delivery staff. So like all these people who are risking their lives um, to help, uh, I guess, society keep fun- functioning and keep on going. We yeah. feature their stories and honor them. And so we've had a lot of messages of hope and positivity. And then also a lot of educational messages about like um, social distancing and things like that. So yeah. I guess if you want to... Um, you should give us a follow on Instagram and Facebook if you think, uh, or if you'd like to sort of see those messages of hope and um, honor all these people who are sacrificing so much um, to protect all of us. Yeah, uh, such a great message. I completely agree with you. Some of the words that you said, resilience, positivity, hope, uh, those are the words that right now I'm especially living by, making sure that I remember those words as we go through this tough times. So I'm very thankful you made my day today, Arul. Uh, I wish I, I was more like you when I was 11th grade. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I'm super impressed, man. I know that you're going to go far and you're going to do great things. And please continue to give back and just inspire all of us through your journey. I really appreciate your time. Uh, and reach out to me personally whenever you have questions about entrepreneurship. Uh, I've been through so many 
uh, journeys, ups and downs. It's it's an ups and up and down process, right? And uh, right. I'm happy to help you personally. If you need anything, reach out to me. Uh, otherwise, I'll keep on following you. I, I'll see your journey through social media, and we. I hope that we get to work together soon. Yeah, definitely. Thank you so much for uh, your kind words and all of your help and support that you've uh, given me throughout this. And um, yeah, I definitely uh, am looking forward to working with you more in the future. All Thank right. You. Thanks so much. All right. Thank see you. you bye bye. Bye. See you soon. Bye bye.